What is up guys, Propylopathy back in the building with another video today. Gonna be doing a Q&A. A lot of you guys asked me some great questions about IW, about my past, about my future. So I thought, why not? Let's do this. Yo, Bryce asked me, how much do I bench? And the funny thing about this is last Q&A, somebody asked me the same question. I told them, ask me in the next Q&A because right now I'm not doing too well. But now I can tell you, I'm benching two plates and like a five and a 10 in the side. So that's about... 225, 240, around around there. So I'm slowly getting back up there to what I used to be. So it's been feeling pretty good. I am stars asked me, did you see yourself as a better player in AW or Black Ops 3 personally? Obviously not county champs. Well, the funny thing is, I would have to say Black Ops 3. Now, here's the reason why. I did win the first event in Advanced Warfare. That's for sure. I was doing pretty well throughout the year, but I was just never very consistent in that game. And now there's a lot of factors into that. Uh, I started slacking after I won the first event. Uh, just barely was putting time, was taking vacations off, uh, just really not focused into the game and and really trying my best to be the best. You know, at a certain point I was, but at, certain, at, at parts of it, I wasn't. And I think that was such a huge impact in why I was inconsistent and why I wasn't doing too well. Now, in Black Ops 3, going into Black Ops 3, I had this whole different mentality. I said, this is my job, I'm taking it 100% serious, I'm going hard, I'm going to win champs, you know, I'm giving it my all putting every single amount of effort, every single bit of energy I have into this. And that's that was just the mindset going into the game. I grinded my ass off. And the thing is what people don't understand, and I tell this to people all the time, if you suck or you think you suck or how do you get better, it's all about grinding. It's all about playing more. The more you play, the better you're going to get. It's just, it's not rocket science. It's something very simple to understand, but people think like it's rocket science. Like, just go play more, man. Go grind. Your shot will get better. Your mentality will get better. Your your in-game thinking will get better. It's just it's a huge improvement. M Liba asks, "What was it like the moment you realized you sealed champs?" Now this is a very interesting question, and I thought, you know what? Let me answer this. So it's so it's it's like so surreal the feeling, and it's like so unrealistic, and it's just my mind was in denial. Like when we when we had when we had four caps, it was four to zero, oh, and there was only like two minutes left, and they they I think they got like two caps in the end, but. We knew at that point we pretty much sealed, we sealed champs. And then when it went down to like 30 seconds and they still needed two caps, we knew at that moment we sealed champs. But it's just such a, it's such a like surreal feeling. You know, you sometimes you can't believe that you accomplished something so amazing. Sometimes you, you can't believe that you just did it. You know, you did what you wanted to do for years. There's no way it happened. You know, like when we were about to win champs, like I was hyped and happy. But at the same time, I felt like... No way I just won champs, you know, it's 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 such a surreal feeling. It's like insane. Like I just couldn't believe it. I, I couldn't believe it for the whole time when we sealed that. I was like, no, do we just win champs? Like, it's crazy, bro. 4G Evolution asked me, have I ever had any near-death experiences or come close to seriously injuring myself? And the question is yes. I had a couple, but I think this is the 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 worst one that I can tell you guys. And I'm gonna make it a, a long story short. That way, you know, this doesn't take too much of your time and my time, obviously. So so basically I woke up one morning. Uh, I don't know how it started, but I started having an asthma attack. And I'm, I don't really usually have asthma, but I guess it's just, I have, I just, I don't have it bad. But if something, if it's like a reaction, like if something causes it, activates it, then I'm kind of, I'm kind of effed up. So basically I had an asthma attack and all right. So the way it works is I couldn't breathe through my mouth, but for some reason I can still breathe a little bit through my nose, but the panic started to hit in. I started crying. I remember telling my dad, I can't breathe, I can't breathe. You know, he's holding me up. He's calling, he's, he's yelling at my sister. I call 911, call 911. And she's over there calling 911. And I'm just there like, I can't breathe. And I'm there like crying, like panicking. At the same time, trying to breathe through only my nose. And it's not even like I'm getting full air from my nose. It was like half ass air. So like, and I'm there like, and then all I remember, that's all I remember. Next thing I know, uh, I guess I passed out due to uh, not having oxygen and I mean, it's crazy. Like at that point, you know, you think you're gonna die. Like it was, it was pretty bad. Like I literally, I couldn't, I couldn't breathe. And it was like the first time something ever happened to me like that related to asthma. Like I never really had an asthma attack or something like that. So it was kind of caught me by my surprise. So basically what happened was the next thing I remember is I woke up and I'm in the, what's a Gurner? I don't know what it's called. The things, the things that the, the ambulance come when they, they put you on the, I think it's a Gurner, something like that. Whatever, right, next thing I remember, I woke up, I was on that. And like I, ha I have the, um, the thing to breathe, whatever. They put like an oxygen mask on me. And like I blacked out completely. Like I, I must have been so close to dying, like due to not having oxygen. It was probably pretty close, but luckily I made it. So 
pretty scary moment. The bottle user asked me, will I be on the same team with JCap and such, or will I switch? To be honest, obviously I'm gonna be on Team Envious, bro. Like, World War Champions, we had the chemistry, we had some pretty good success in Black Ops 3. Uh, obviously, we, ha we haven't played this game together, but we have the skill, we have the talent, we have the chem. Like, there's no reason why we shouldn't play this game together and stick. So that's the plan. Uh, obviously, we're gonna we're gonna stick. Probably play the first couple events together, and then depending on our performance, you know, if someone's doing bad, whatever, I don't know what's gonna happen after that. But yes, we are sticking together. Infamous asked me if I had the chance to team with someone I've never teamed with before, who would it be, and why would it be Dub? Now listen, man, there's one player I've always wanted to team with. Okay, his name is Scumpy, Scumpy X Junior. And the reason why is because he's a fucking animal. The kid's a beast. And I love his his grindage. He grinds a lot. Especially the start of the game, midway through the game. I feel like at the end of the game, he always slows down a little bit. But that's normal. But like he grinds a lot, man. He puts in the time, he puts in the work. He has he has that that fire inside of him. He wants to win. Like I share I share the same 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 fire with him. Like I I I have that same energy like I'm, I'm so in love with this competitive and I want to win and I love to win so I mean and obviously like other reasons like Scum's just an animal man he's, he's so good and he just had like I don't know I just love team with him we'll be like we're both so we're both similar subs and just me and him on the same team I feel like we'll just be so powerful truthful call asked me was it worth giving up school for such a great year yes it really was the the worth i mean the amount of sacrifices and stuff i put aside and the amount of time i put into gaming and you know for champs and everything and it was definitely worth it because obviously i came out on top it was 100 percent worth it um you guys don't understand man sometimes obviously a lot of you guys probably like school some of you probably don't like school i don't mind school but i'm not the biggest fan of school and i hate homework and sometimes just I remember when I was in school and I was gaming hard, like a year, a year and a half ago. I just couldn't focus in school. Like, I just, it just didn't interest interest me anymore. It just, I was, just, I don't know. Like, I was slacking. I wasn't really putting my effort and my time, and you know, really paying attention to school. All I was doing was going to my classes, wasting my time, wasting my money, and it was just like, why am I here? You know, I just had this like mindset, like, I don't, I don't want to do this. Like, I'm not happy here. And I was, and you know, going going away from school allowed me to put more time into competitive, allowed me to put more time into what I love to do. And I knew if I were, if I put more effort and more time, I was going to see more success, which I did. But obviously, now that I'm growing up and now that I'm getting older, and I don't know how many years I have in school, and I don't know what I'm doing in my future. Obviously, now I'm starting to be like more like a little bit more mature about it, and be like, yeah, you know, I should go back to school, you know, finish my classes and do do what I have to do. You know, it's really important as well for my future. So it was just a mentality I had a couple years ago, you know, I was still pretty young, but uh, yeah, it was definitely worth it. 17 year old Burn asked me, how do I think the competitive scene will be in IW and with COD 4 being out and do you think you're going to scream at COD 4? Well, here's the thing, guy, COD 4, like people need to understand and understand this now, COD 4 will not be played competitively, competitively. there might be a couple tournaments here and there, maybe some throwback tournaments or GB, I don't know, but realistically it's not going to be played at the professional competitive level that we play on it's just not going to happen it's an old game they focus on new games that's all about they're all about the new games so and honestly the competitive scene for iw is looking really slow right now there's the game itself feels it feels good playing pubs it feels good being that like pub stumper that, that pub star but when it comes to competitive level i don't know the ttk is pretty fast the guns are all just the same. They a lot of, a lot of them have like switch to an AR, switch to a sniper, switch back to a self, switch back to an AR. Like a lot of these guns are so weird, and it's just I don't know. It's a big toss up. Like there's no really like actual like a concussion grenade, a stun, a flash, a grenade. No, there's a there's a blackout grenade or something that black like flashes you, stuns you, and EMPs you. Like it's just the game. It's so weird itself, and it's, and like I don't. It's a, it's kind of fast paced. Like hard point would be so weird on that game. I don't know. It's it's a really big toss up right now. So we we have to wait and see how it plays out. It could it couldn't be that bad. It, like it probably won't be that bad. But based off what we see and what we know right now, it's looking a little bit slow. Elevate Ava asked me what did I do to keep myself motivated through the low points of my career. And the thing is, I did a lot of things. And I think I explained this a couple times. Not in an actual form of a question, but you know what? I have. And it was just a couple things. One, I'm I'm gonna try to name them all really quickly. One. 
I felt like I always had the skill. I felt like I put in so much time into this. And I just felt like, why throw it all away? You know, why give it up all now? Why throw my talent away? And I just felt like I had that that mindset, you know, like I put so much time and so many hours and so much hard work into this, into what I love to do. And why quit now? Why when I put so much time and so so like far, you know, why just give it all up? So I just had that mentality and I felt also like I'm talented. Like I had the skill. I know what I do. I know I have the skill to win. I know I can compete. You know, I've won before, even before champs. I've won before. And, you know, I just felt like I'm not going to give up now. Another thing was a lot. A big thing was another thing. Another big thing was the fans. Like a lot of you guys always supported me. A lot of you guys always try to keep my head high and always had my back and say, you know, after you're fine, man, you got this. Don't worry. This is yours, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, even times where I, like said, I mentioned, like, maybe I want to quit. Maybe I want to do this. You guys are like, no, you got this, bro. Don't fucking quit. You're the best. And that was just another huge, like, another huge thing that helped me stay motivated and keep going. And then the last thing I guess I would say, well, there's like two more things was, one, I wanted to prove everyone wrong and I wanted to prove the haters wrong. You guys know haters are motivators. I know a lot of you guys feel the same way I do. But when someone says you can't do this, you can't do that, you know, you suck, you'll never be the best, you know, that just motivates you, like, it gives me the fire inside, just, I want to prove them wrong, like, how the hell are you going to say, you, I can't do that, man, I know I can't, and it's, it really just motivates me, it gives me this fire inside to really try my best to prove them wrong, because I have to, like, just the pride, and I, I know I can, so it's, it's that mindset, and then lastly, it's just, this is what I love to do, man. I enjoyed this. I'm such a competitive person, you know. I'm just, in, I'm in such a great position in life, and 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 just in like competing and playing Call of Duty like for fun, and it's, and I'm obviously like for a job slash for fun, and it's just such an amazing thing, and I just, I just love to do it. So I, I can't just throw away like right now, man. I, I gotta, I gotta keep pushing, see it through, and luckily I did. Tyson Potato Yang asked me, besides COD, what other games do you play? Well, not really any console games. I mainly play other PC games. I used to play a lot back in the day. Now, uh, with less time in my hands, you know, with streaming and YouTube and gaming all the time, I don't have as much time to, like, chill and play PC games anymore, but I still do once in a while. But uh, really any uh, popular PC game I play, like, I used to play League of Legends. I used to play Dota 1. I play, um, I play Dota 2 here and there. Uh, Diablo 3, I played it a lot, but I got bored of it because it's not the same as Diablo 2. I used to play Diablo 2 all the time. Uh, Warcraft, not World of Warcraft, I never got to it, and I know, like, if I did, I probably would have no life, because that game is really time-filling, and I know this from Diablo 2. Um, play Starcraft a little bit. Uh, basically, any, like, really popular PC game, uh, except Overwatch, I haven't played it yet, because uh, that was before Season 2 Finals, and I really didn't want to play that game, because I didn't want that to affect my Season 2 Finals. I wanted to win that shit and not invest my time into that game because I know the thing is I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are the same. Once you put your once you get into like a really good game and a fun game, you're like, holy shit, like I want to keep playing, I want to keep playing. Like that's me with Diablo, Dota. Like I just I play one game and I want to play more. I want to play more. Like it's so fun. So I knew I didn't what like I made that sacrifice not playing Overwatch, not playing these new cool games just to make sure you know I do good in COD. But really, I just like playing other PC games. If you, Jerry, Nick, and Cap were in a zombie apocalypse, who would get eaten first? I'm gonna have to go with Nick, aka Classic. My man will be will be like, guys, go. He would try to be the hero, and he would just go out guns blazing. He'd probably kill like 20 of them, but then he would just get overrun and get eaten. Sayo Blink asks me, does it know you when casters say you're inconsistent when you've been a beast all year? Because it really pisses me off. Well, it kind of pisses me off too, pal. Not gonna sit here and bullshit. A lot of times, and I hear this very often, Apathy is so inconsistent. He's so inconsistent. Now, sometimes in Search and Destroy, when before I started grinding it, yes, I was a very, I was a little bit inconsistent. I'm not gonna lie, but a lot of times I feel like it's something that one person says and everyone says it. You know, it's like it's it's, it's just like let's say a pro player says, "Yo, Zuma, all he does is rush. All he does is flank." Obviously, sometimes it can be true. Maybe a, par a part of it is partially true, obviously. But everyone in the community starts going, dude, all Zuma does is flank. A thousand people follow that one guy. Yeah, Zuma just flanks. And I feel like that's the same thing with my consistency. Like, yes, I, I get a little consistent sometimes, but everyone's inconsistent. Nobody's perfect. Obviously, there's like a top five players, maybe top ten players that almost never shit to bed. And as time went on, you know, I started being that player and barely ever going inconsistent. 
but I just felt like I've always had that that light on me, that inconsistency. That that's like me, like Zuma is flanking, and me is like, oh yeah, everything's inconsistent. And I feel like it was gassed to a certain level because I feel like personally uh, I wasn't that consistent when I first joined Envy and at the in the league I was a little bit inconsistent in search and destroy. I'm not gonna lie, but after that, I mean, throughout the whole year, I felt like uh, I played really well, like in every game mode. So I mean, I don't know. It is what it is. Like caster say what caster say. Can't really change that, but it did annoy me a little bit. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's Q and A's video. This has been your boy Apathy. Hope you all have an amazing day. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe for more videos. And I'm out. Peace. Boom. 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 Boom.